What is going on, Pokemon community? It is Poke Collector NYC here, back with another video. Today is going to be a PSA return. I submitted like 20 something cards, mainly Pokemon. Um, so we're going to see here what we get here. Did we get a return on these? Some of these may be for PC, some of these are going to go for for sale on the ebay channel but or the ebay store but let's see what we get here thanks everybody for watching please consider subscribing to the channel hitting the notification bell and smashing that like button it came in two boxes so i think it's like 24 cards in total so let's go ahead and see what we get here i'm excited i did submit quite a few promos so we'll see how that works out in today's video um I think it's like 24 cards. Shout out to Bob and those are me to Patreon members. Patreon members get exclusive Pokemon cards. Or if we do like sports cards, if you want to sign up for Patreon, you can also sign up for that as well. Link is down in the description below. All right, first one. Oh, okay. So this is the 2019 Hyper Rare of Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. I think earlier in the year we submitted, or maybe last year, we submitted the uh basically like the alt art version um and that did pretty well here again these are all usually pretty clean in terms at least the ones that i submitted so i'm gonna go say it's gonna be at least a nine um i i, I kind of like this card so i just wanted to get it graded again this these, this stuff's already five years old here all right gem mint 10 we're gonna put like the cost of grading and you know like the return um probably for each one of these but all right we got a gem in 10 there we're starting off strong with a tag team hyper rare psa 10. so we submitted two uh one piece carts um we just i just think this would look good or great in the slabs i did collect some one piece back in the day so yeah i think these are good i think these are pretty pretty well centered i mean these are the leader cards so leader alt arts i think they're called um, but all right, I'm gonna say 10. Yep, gem mint 10, perfect. Usually the one piece cards are, from what I see, do really well from a grading perspective. So starting off strong with two tens. Again, values will be up on the screen as we kind of pull them. All right, Gu Giratina V-Star, um, Secret Rare. I pulled this, I think a couple, like two, three months ago. Um, I thought it was pretty well centered. Um, so I thought it was gonna get a 10. Again, for something like this, like you kind of like need a 10 to kind of like get your value back at least out of this. So we'll see here. Hopefully it is a 10. We start off strong with two 10s. Okay, mint nine. So I'm pretty sure if I saw this right, um, mint nines only go for around 20 bucks. So again, grading's only like 13 or $14 before the, like the fees and stuff like, or well, whatever else is in there. Plus you gotta take away eBay fees. You might just break even on this, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so all right, we got two tens and a nine. Let's keep it rolling. Hopefully we continue that 10 train. Lucario, V-Star, these do really well. I think these are gonna be like $30, $40 in PSA 10. If it gets a nine, I'm probably gonna have to crack it. Um, but so far, I think uh, we've been on a very clean streak here. So just flip it over and see. Um, all right, Lucario, V-Star, very nice promo again. Probably a nice 40, maybe $45 card. Let's see how that really works out on the eBay um, store there. And plus you have to include fees and stuff like that. All right, we did send a bunch of these. This is from the uh, Shrouded Fable uh, promos. I'm keeping most of the tens if I get some tens uh, for PC. So these are just super clean. I think these are gorgeous. We'll see what we get here. We're just gonna go for it because we have quite a few of them. Yes, perfect. This one's gonna stay in my PC. I think Kingdra is, this artwork is just insane with that moon in the background. Uh, it's going up that waterfall. It, they put, probably should have put like the moon to be waterfall, but like, it's okay. All right, gem in 10 right there. Again, we did send quite a few promos. All right, we're gonna get a couple of these in a row. Um, again, I assume these are gonna be tens for the most part, just because of how clean they are. I didn't submit all of them, but you know, we'll see. Oh, this one got a nine. Okay, so I don't know how much that impacts the value of the card um, because I got to look at comps and you'll see comps on screen. So we got our second nine, unfortunate for that Kingdra, but you know, uh, except we're keeping the tens if possible. Uh, or at least one ten. All right, so another one here. Let's see. Again, I thought these were clean. So like, I mean, that's just a beautiful clean card. To me, I don't see like anything really. All right, let's see what happens. All right, back to back nines, tough. 
on the promo. Cause like promos are just hard to grade. Like in general, like if you don't get a 10, like it's hard on the promos. Cause it's not like a, it's not a hard card to pull. All right, let's see what we get here on this one. I may question it. It still looks like a clean card. There's nothing in there, but let's see. All right, three, two. Oh, no, we got an eight. I'm just gonna, why did I get an eight? I don't know. I, the centering looks fine in my opinion. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going and see what happens. All right, so, okay, we only got 110. That's a 14. That means I'm gonna keep the 110. All right, Greninja, gorgeous looking card right there. Again, another one for the PC, because that's just insane. So, all right. Um, let's just rip, rip the mandate off. And we got a Gem Min 10, there we go. Gem Min 10 on that special illustration collection box. Um, right there, again, these were the Shrouded Fable collection boxes. Um, I love these. So again, I'm gonna keep a minimum of one. Oh, I already saw it. So all right, we got back-to-back -back Gem Min 10s. I think that's the only two we sent in, so that's great. Um, I, you know, I prefer the King Drawer the Greninja, but you know, let me know what your comments are. Which one did you prefer? Um, all right, Pokemon together. So these are the ones, these came from the Pokemon Center like promos. These were promotional cards, at least the ones I got, um, if you spent over a certain amount in TCG product. Um, so I thought it was cool that they had that little description there. Um, I think we get sent in two, three, oh, there's a little Nick. Oh, there's a Nick. I didn't see the Nick. I didn't see the little dent there. So let's see how that affects the grade. Mint nine, Ugh, it's tough on the promos when you get a nine. A lot of promos, a lot of promos. Please tell me we got 110 though. Oh, well. See this one now I'm seeing it's like a little off centered before. Oh, wait a minute, is there a dent there? I can't tell. God, oh, there's a little dent, a little tiny one. You see that right there at the corner? All right, this is might be a nine. Oh, no, an eight, two promo eights. No. All right, two eights. I, get, I should be happy. We are getting more tens than anything else, but you know, it's hard when you're just sending in non holo cards. Pokemon together, pop up exclusive, Pikachu. So this one, you kind of want the 10 um, because like, you know, the Eevees did terrible in, in my opinion. So let's see here again. Uh, oh, I see the gem in 10. Okay, good. All right, at least we got one gem in 10 Pikachu that will do really well uh, in the market. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll keep one. Let's see, let's see how many, let's see, let, let's see how this works out. Cause we did, yeah, here's the second one, okay. So if we have two gem in 10s, I may keep one, um, but we'll see, all right. The centering looks fine and I don't see a Nick. All right, oh, mm, maybe, all right, let's see. Uh, Pokemon together, mid nine, okay. So we did get two nine of the, pop-ups, maybe I'll sell that as a set, the, the nines as a set. All right, Mew from Crown Zenith. I thought this was a very clean version. I think I could, you could see PSA 10s go for like 50 bucks. So uh, now I'm seeing Nicks. I'm seeing Nicks on the corners. I don't like that, I don't know what happened. All right, let's just reveal it. Three, two, oh, so I mean, that one is gonna be at a loss. I'm pretty sure it ain't does like 15 bucks after fees and everything like that, you're probably looking at a 10, $9 after fees. I don't know how that one's gonna work out. All right, we got three eights, which is actually kind of rough. Mewtwo, V-Star, Crown, Zenith. This always does well. I think nine will just be at market price of the card raw. Uh, it's a clean card. I mean, it's a little off-centered, so this can go either way, but I like this card. Love the artwork with that Charizard in the background being, you know, fighting. So let's see what we got here. Mint nine. All right. That's still like a 50 to $60 card. Again, raw, same price pretty much. So not too bad there. So these, these are definitely going to be PC. These are banned uh, Japanese cards from 97. Uh, if you notice here, the Grimer, um, the, I, the real core difference between this and the English version, I don't have an English version on me, but that Grimer right there is, you know, doing something inappropriate. It's gotta be looking somewhere else. So we'll see what this does here. I did buy this, uh, you know, from eBay, from a Japan, Japanese seller. I can't do that on the... I thought this was a clean card. I didn't really see anything on these. 
But Japanese cards are just, you know, if there's even something slight, it goes down to like an eight or something, which is fine. Again, I'm gonna keep this as a PC. I think it's gonna get the near mint eight. Yep, okay, so near mint eight right there. Unfortunate, but like, again, that's a PC card. That's, I don't care about that. That's just, that's mine. Uh, I am collecting the banned cards. So regardless if it gets a nine or a 10 or an eight, like, so Sabrina's Gaze, again, they switch the fingers mainly in this one. It's a banned card. There is a, a certain amount of cards that are banned. This one I knew was all centered, like you could tell, but like it didn't matter. Because by the time I got it, you, like you don't know for sure as the pictures aren't as clear. So like, I knew this was gonna get like a, an eight or a nine at minimum. And I got the nine, at least this one got the nine. I don't know how what the secondary market's gonna look like for these, you know, like what the prices are, but at least we're gonna put them up. These are PC, regardless. So we have, unfortunately, we now have caught up to the tens. We have equal amount of nines and tens. We'll also put like the the total amount of like eights, nines, and tens that we have. All right, so uh, we have Faramosa and Buzzwall here. That's pretty cool. Again, these were clean copies that I've had in a binder for like ever. So um, I thought this was clean. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully we catch, like we go one up on the tens. And we do, uh, there we go. Probably gonna keep the alt arts, to be honest. Um, I sold the Mega Sebuli, obviously being the more expensive card, but like that is probably VC. All right, this one is the only other One Piece card I think we sent. So I think this is just gonna get the gem in 10 because I think One Piece cards are just really clean. Yep, this is good. Um, I think these have great value um, in them. So like these are just uh, rising in, like collector collectability and pricing, I think. All right, so that was the um, first one there. Um, there's not that many, there shouldn't be that many cards in this other one. So I don't even know why they separated it. I don't remember what was in these, like my submission. So we'll see here what this will look like. All right, so, all right, so this is the, all right, let's, let's do this. They put the things there. Let's take this and put that there. All right, so we, we only got a few cards in this one. Looks like four cards. All right, so we got uh, five cards. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right there. Charizard and Rushing Rushing Ram and Charizard GX. This is the full art version. Um, great looking card. Again, part of that set that I thought was pretty clean. Like no damages. So let's see what we get here in this one. Should be a ten. Oh, a nine. I, again, I still think this is pretty good uh, in terms of like what it's like, again, sitting in a binder for five years. That's actually really good. It doesn't matter to me. Um, let's. I don't know what the prices are. Again, prices will go on screen. Prices of what like last sold will go on screen. Continuing the Unbroken Bonds chain. Like, yeah, there you go. Another crazy card. Alolan Muck and Muck. Probably a $40 card raw. So a gorgeous artwork of the two. These are slept on uh, alt arts though. Gem Mint 10, there we go. Slept on, slept on. So that is great right there. We got three cards left still. Arceus, this is the promo. Again, promos are great for the artworks. So let's see here, gorgeous ones right here. Uh, very well centered too. I don't. Is that a... uh, there may be a Nyx on the bottom. Let's okay. If there's Nyx on the bottom, so let's see here. Oh, I got an eight. Okay, we are doing very unfortunate for some of these promos. So I don't know if I'm gonna crack that one. This is another Japanese card though. We. Oh. I thought we only. Oh, well, I already see the the G. So. Uh, yeah, okay, this is great. I forgot we sent one of these. We only had one of these, so like, yeah. The, uh, these cool little promo things are like, or not promos, but you pull these out of packs. The packs are like 30 bucks each. You kind of hope for like the big cards. And this is like a pretty good one. I, I think this will do really well. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure this is like 40, 50 bucks. So again, submitting it for like 12, nine, like 14 bucks. That's a decent return on those. All right, last card of the video. Can't believe we're already there. Uh, the last card is the Pikachu World Champions. I forgot where this promo I got this from. I can't remember off the top of my head where this was. I, it was either the Pokemon Center, something specific to the Pokemon Center. Um, World Champion uh, 2024, 
you can see there it's got that little uh insignia right there um you know i thought it was cool again non-hollow promos you got to get like a 10 or it's like really rough so last card let's see what we get here in today's video um if you like the content smash that like button let me know which card was your favorite because i think uh I, I actually don't know what everybody liked out of this this uh return here but it, it, i think it's a pretty solid return gem mint 10 there we go gem mint 10 pikachu from the 2024 world champions uh ship um that's a cool little one right there um but thanks everybody for watching please consider subscribing to the channel hitting the notification bell and smashing that like button uh spoken clear nyc and we'll see you next time